What is going on, y'all? Cussing Tuna back with another one. We're on Mississippi Acres, and we're going to be hunting Mississippi with rifles. If y'all enjoy this, hit that subscribe button. Leave a 10 likes on this video, and comment down below. Oof. But we are going to see if we can start That's off with a raccoon. Oh, there's one. We did start off with a raccoon. Oh, I got to buy ammo. That one shot made it count. Made it count. We hit him and plowed him up. We need to get a gun that is ethical for raccoons, which I think this 22 long rifle actually might be ethical for the raccoons. Or it might not be. Oh, we got a heart shot, though. But it might be ethical. It might not be. So I'm going to go buy ammo and restock on everything. and we, We're going to hunt Mississippi with rifles. But before we continue, let's take a quick word from our sponsor, myself. Do y'all love hunting and fishing content? Well, I, just great news for you. I have a second channel. It's called Tuna Outdoors, where we post hunting and fishing stuff almost every, almost every uh, few weeks over there. But we have really good stuff if y'all want to check it out. Thank y'all for listening. Let's get back into the program. Yeah, I'll try something. I, I'll I was trying something new, about sponsor thing. I I got used to that. I'm not used to that yet. So, the more and more I'll do it, the better I'll get at it. But yeah, if y'all want to check out my hunting and fishing content, we have a second channel for Tuna Outdoors. Thank y'all so much for all the love and support. Y'all are awesome. But uh, we pulled out the 22 Hornet because the normal 22 was not ethical for raccoons or level ones. It was only ethical for level 1s. So now we have something that's both for level 1s and level 2s. And there's a gray fox fleeing. Great. Oh, where are you at? You're warning calling me. But I can't see you. Aww. I saw you that time. Oh, did a cartwheel. Did another one. Oh, the shot's not good. But the first two shots. Come on, go down. And it should go down after that one. It's got three shots in it. It should go. I hope it goes down. That'd be very bad if it did not does not go down. That'd be terrible. But we hit it three times and it dropped from 100 to 50 to 75. Just none of those shots were adequate shots. But I didn't see it until it started running. So that makes up for it. 25 to 50. Oh, he's definitely going down. I don't hunt raccoons enough. <clears throat> like, I never hunt raccoons. I, it's hard to hunt them when you can't find them. They're the smallest creatures. This map is covered in bush. And you just cannot see them. And then flesh. And flesh. She was a blonde. But yeah, it's just hard to hunt them when you can't see them. This bear out here is full sprinting. Oh, he stopped. Why did you stop, dude? Or why'd you slow down? It's not that you stopped. You stopped long enough for me to get a shot into you. Now, did I spook off anything else? <gasps> Ooh, turkeys. How far are the turkeys out? So the last turkey spotted was, was actually right there. Oh, there's multiple turkeys. Please don't spook, because I have to get in range. How far does this go? This does not go very far. Oh, there's a turkey right there. He's going down. And then the other ones... <laughs> it just plopped out the sky. He, was, he tried flying, and then... He didn't fly very far, 
and he just plopped. Fell right out the sky. But that's a male. There's a male right there. Can I get a shot in him? He's about to cross this road. And when he does cross this road, right there, that's a hit. That's another hit. Another hit. That's a better hit. That's a better hit. Okay. Now we got to try to find this one that plopped down right here. Somewhere. That should have been him that plopped down right there. There was another male. But I can't help that. There's so many. I oh okay. Here's this one. I was nowhere near. I almost ran past him. Four point. Is that another one? Dude, where are all these males coming from? There. Oh, that was a white tail. A lot more males than I thought. Now we gotta try to find this bear. This bear and this other turkey that I hit. Oh man, this is. Oh, hello there. Yeah, I don't care. We, we I got other stuff to try to find right now. Okay, I literally see the other turkey. It's right here. We just gotta try to find that bear because it was shot more than once. It didn't count. Oh, I didn't even know that counted for turkeys. Also. Now, where was that bear, to be exact? Because I don't know. Oh. I don't know how close or how far he was. He could have been really close. He could have been really far. I just, I don't know. We found blood. Oh. It. Psst, double lunged him. Absolutely destroyed that bear. Didn't even have to worry about going far because he was down right next to where I actually hit him at. Oh, I'm about to run and try to spook up some turkeys. Come on, fly. Because once you fly, I'm going to shoot you out the sky. There you are. Oh, there goes another one. A closer one. It's easier to hit the ones that are closer. Oh. Oh, you shouldn't have. He, he, I thought it was only a group of females. Oh. Hello. I... Was that a hit? It, it was a hit. He is going down, so we're going to have to track him up, too. If I had a shotgun... If I had a shotgun... I didn't realize how good these fields are for turkeys these cotton fields are amazing for turkeys if i had a shotgun i could literally as they're flying over blow them out the sky but i don't have a shotgun oh and he fell over in the road we don't have to track him that is amazing dude this is just it keeps getting better and better we need to go find some crocodiles to hunt or not crocodiles, alligators. Got to hunt some of them alligators down. Got to get this thing relo reloaded and claim him up. Eh, the small one of the smaller ones of the day. We hit him twice. I knew that first shot looked like I hit it, but now let's go try to find some alligators. Ooh, wait a minute. Hold up, wait a minute. I saw some white tail, and I was like, something ain't right. Is that the only male? I think it is the only male. And he's dropped in his place. He ain't even going nowhere. He is down right here. Dude, I am smacking everything with rifles. Oh, no. There goes a good one. That's a good one also. Oh, dude, they ain't gonna give me shots either. They ain't gonna give me shots. But there is a zone there, and we know there's a zone there now. So, this spot, I could... I gotta find the zone, said zone. But then when I find said zone, 
we can literally set up a tree stand here for our tree stand hunting video or a tripod stand hunting video. I know a lot of people love when I hunt from tripods and tree stands. So we can't, or unless it's not a zone and they're just cr crossing. I think they were just crossing. I don't think it's a zone. No, it's not a zone. They were just crossing. What time is it? So we know 1638. So we know they might cross this area every time going to wherever it is they go. So we put up a stand and try to get a shot. I have an alligator up here, right there. Come on. Go tentative. Come on. You're attentive, but not going to look at me. There was one right there. Or there was something right there. Where'd you go? There you are. You're gonna give me a shot, Mr. Alligator. And that is the shot I am dealt with. Come on. You're defensive. Go. He should go down. I hope I shot him in the mouth. Yeah, he's going to go down. We're just going to wait for him to float over in this direction because he is definitely going to go down. I just hope he doesn't get stuck in the, on any of these cypress trees. He finally floated to me. And oh, he was catty corner just enough to where it didn't get vitals. Dang. Everybody, I hope y'all enjoyed this one. Thank y'all for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Laters!